Hello, my name is Paula Hollingsworth. I'm the chaplain at St Paul's Cathedral. Welcome to our Winter Book Club. Both my parents, for very different reasons, had very difficult childhoods, but both of them discovered reading. They discovered books. For both of them, this escape into imaginary worlds was really important. But there were other important things as well. For my father, he found hope that things could change that the situation could become different. And for my mother, she discovered in the books that she read a very different world and a very different value system from the life, the world in which she had been brought up. And she vowed, even as a child, that when she grew up, she would live and inhabit a very different world, the world that she had discovered um, from her reading. So I was brought up with a very implicit understanding that novels could change you, that they could help to form your character, that they were more than just escaping into an imaginary world. And when I came to Christian faith, I wanted to explore how novels informed and helped me to develop and think spiritually. The last book that we read in the book group, In This House of Breed by Ruma Godden, is set within a community of nuns in a monastery. So that is very, very much in an explicitly Christian environment. So Christian hope and Christian values uh, were very, very obvious within that book. I'm inviting you to explore Christian hope and values within a very, very different book. It's this book, Plain Song, by Kent Howarth. In this book, you'll find virtually no mention of God, of faith, or of church. It's the first of a trilogy of books. Plain Song, the name of the first one, that refers to a type of musical chant within the Western church. And the later two books, their titles also have religious connotations. So I do believe that Kent Howarth is inviting us to read this book with a religious understanding. The novel follows a number of different characters who all live within a small town called Holt in Colorado. Life is tough and despite the beauty of the writing for many of the characters, their lives start very, very sad, but do keep reading. It's from the sadness that hope and I believe redemption comes. So look for signs of grace. So a few things to explore as you read Plain Song. Why do you think is it called Plain Song? When do you first begin to feel hopeful for your characters? What is it? that gives you that sense of hope for them? And what are the values that you think are explored in this book? Jesus calls us to look for the kingdom of God. Where and how do you see signs of the kingdom of God within this story, Plain Song? So music, hope, values, the Kingdom of God. These are the riches that I invite you to find and to explore as you read this book. I look forward to chatting with you about this book when we meet on Twitter on Wednesday the 20th of January between 7 and 8pm.